Moving on from there, Scott Leffler's Bowling Green Falcons. And I got to tell you, I think that this could be the worst coaching staff in, in the country. At all the like, 130? Yes. Yeah, I did too. In, in all of college football. When we um, talked about not knowing how we felt about this whole conference, I felt very confident there are two really bad football teams. How, how Scott Leffler got this job is, is beyond me. It's but good let work me, if you can get it. Let me go ahead and tell you this. Right, so they went 0-5 last year. They were 3-9 and in his first season, and they got like a super surprising win over Toledo. Now Toledo had to had to fumble the football and and throw interceptions and whatnot. I think they had six or seven turnovers in the game, and and still only lost by like a field goal at the end. But uh, but I they're not projected to be a favorite in a single game this year, and that's a, a fairly big deal. FPI has them going two and ten. SP Plus has them at three and nine. Now a lot of those are based on uh, the the percentage chance that they win games, right? And then you add up all those percentages, and then it gets to a certain number. The win total is one and a half. To go over is minus 105. To go under is minus 125. Uh, Leffler is 3-14 and 14 in his two seasons there. That's not good. Uh, they On offense, lost four of their top six targets. Uh, his offense is basically starting over for the third time in three years. I was about to say, it's another rebuild. Yes. The pass defense what was... was the, what was the total again? Total was one and a half. I was just about to say, it had to be two or less. Pass defense is great. Uh, but the issue is that would require teams to pass for their yeah, why, defense to why be would great you, why because, would you pass? It, like, they're Unless you they, they can't stop the it. run. Yeah, yeah, Unless it's all practice stuff. Here's the the problem that they have when Brian Van Gorder's defense is your uh, best chance for optimism. It's not good. You have problems. Not good. I'm going under the one and a half. Scott Leffler, five twenty five a year. That's see, it's good. It's good work if you can get it. I would, I would take that. It's good work if you can do. It. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll, I'll do it for half. Yes. And I promise you, I bet we get the same results. See, that's the difference. Is I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a better coach than him. I'm saying I bet we get the same results, and you save two hundred seventy five thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars, whatever the math. It's not bad. Two two sixty something. Not, not bad work if you can get it. You taking the under? Yes, I'm gonna take the. Under one and a half, absolutely. Under one and a half. Did I you, think this did team... you take the over on uh, Akron? I did, did take, take the over on Akron. Okay, over two and a half. There, I'm writing all this stuff down. I'm making, I'm keeping notes. We're gonna keep track this time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.